in this video, we are gonna do a 7-Eleven mukbang here in Waikiki and check out what they have to offer in Hawaii next on Jaycation. What's up Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Hawaii series. Today, we are gonna go to one of my favorite spots to hit up while on one of these eight islands. We are now here at 7-Eleven because they have some amazing breakfast items and some manapua and we just want to see what's different between the mainland and here. Yeah, let's go inside and check out what they have to offer. For this video, this guy's been the one that wanted to do a mukbang. All right, let's go in guys. All right guys, let's see what they got. Oh, they have some lychee, talpico, some strawberry juice. Ooh, even boba tea drinks over here. They offer Hawaiian sun. Over this way they got soju, Baylor Jerry spice rum, for real strawberry shortcake milkshakes, cotton candy milkshakes. You have your regular slurpees this way, but look at this. There is harders and they have butter mochi. Butter mochi slurpee, a white bunny made in Hawaii with cane sugar. What is this? Ube cream cheese pancake. Wow. Chocolate cream pancake. Oh, uh, they got the ube tarts up in here. Oh, this is gonna be dangerous, guys. Then you got your garlic chicken, your mochiko chicken. They got spicy ahi inari pack. Seafood inari sushi bomb. Inside out dynamite sushi pack. Get your sushi rolls. Oh, wow, they got beef pho style simon pork ramen, chicken adobo, loco moco, baguette, simon. They even got a quinoa boost bowl. We're not gonna get this, but they should do this in San Diego. Wet beef burrito, kimchi fried rice, spicy furikake, chicken bento. Look at this, longanisa and egg fried rice bento. Loco moco, loco, loco, little smokies, nanahune pan. Musubis. Jiro sandwich. Oh, this is what you've been looking for, Mari. What is it? Mini pork lao lao. And over here, they got the warm stuff. Oh, oh you, it's already it's warm. warm. I'm gonna get the warm stuff right here. More masubis here. Salmon masubi, pork sausage, <laughs> bagel. And they also got the Portuguese sausage hot dogs. The basic stuff. But then you also got the manapua here. Blueberry lemon scone. Look at this, they even have BTS hand drip coffee and a bunch of different Asian treats. Thank you, can I have some soy sauce too? How many? Uh, just two please. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. We're gonna take it back to the hotel. Yes. We got the bags. We'll show you exactly what we got when we get back upstairs. We got the goods. Messy, is that the goat or is that dad Cation? That's or dad Cation. both? That's me. Well, we were gonna try Kona coffee purveyors here, but it's 7.15 and look how long that line is already. Forget that, let's get out of here. Joining us for this mukbang is Mom Kation and Dad Kation and they're gonna try their plates. They ended up getting three different plates and they will tell you all about it. Hello, people. Good morning. Today, Jay Kation. It's requesting that we try the 7-Eleven breakfast mukbang. Excited doing it and I just wanted to, to know how it, it looks great, but I don't know if it tastes great. We have uh, pancit here, chicken adobo. We have longanisa, tocino, scrambled egg and rice. There's also rice underneath there, right? Mm-hmm. We'll let you know what, how, how it is. <laughs> Go ahead, just start, mom. Okay. This is the pancit. It's Chinese Filipino uh, delicacy or food. It looks really good, but I don't know if it tastes good. So let me try. It's like there's big noodles, which is the, we call it sotanghon, and then there's the pancit canton in Filipino. Cheers. It's like how I make it. It's savory. Green onions, onions, carrots, and cabbage. Like I said, you know, those are the ingredients that I put on the pancit that when I make it. Let me try the adobo. Mm, I smell a little it. bit of mm. rice. I smell the garlic. Mm -hmm. 
good. Since they have a lot of Filipino workers around here, it tastes pretty close to how we cook it in San Diego. Adobo, pancit, we tried this one here. So I'm gonna try the Tocino scrambled egg rice. It's not fried rice, it's white rice. Longanisa. I'm gonna try the tocino first with some scrambled egg and rice. Is that Green seaweed? stuff is like uh, that's seaweed. It's seaweed. Cheers. The tocino is good, but it's not like the tocino I cook in San Diego. There's uh, something missing in it. Let me try the longanisa. I'll just take a bite on it. Hmm. Longanisa is about the same as the one I buy there, the Cheapwood City. The pungentness scale, one to five. How pungent is that Longanisa? I would say three. Will your burp smell later? <laughs> I'm afraid it will. All right, Jaycation Nation. So I went with the fried rice with Longanisa, and it's this different type of Longanisa, unlike what my dad got, uh, egg. And then I also got some shrimp shomai and uh, jalapeno shomai. And then I went with the manapua. I think I just got a pork one. And then we're gonna try this beef pho a little later on because you know I can't eat that much. So let's dig in. Let's get some of this fried rice here. You, I can see the green peas and the carrots and it's a little darker toned. But I like this type of langonisa. So cheersies. Mmm. Uh, this longanisa is alright. I've had better in the Philippines. Usually when you're staying at an island like Chargao or Boracay, your hotel gives you included breakfast. And this is the type of longanisa that they give you. Ah, that's decent. And this came already hot. You can actually get it cold and then heat it up if you have a microwave like we do. But I got it hot and I think it's missing some Tabasco. You also know. I travel with Tabasco packets, so we're gonna put some Tabasco on the Langi. Shout out to Avery Island. If you haven't seen my Louisiana video yet, check it out to try out a bunch of Cajun food. Mmm. All right, if you add the sauce to it, it tastes better. But I think I like Dad Cajun and Mom Cajun's type of Langanisa better. The egg is all right. I like it when the yolk's runny and the yolk's not runny anymore. Eh, this is an all right meal. Well, this is the lao lao. Open it up. I don't know how. Where's the knives? Meat. I've never eaten this before, so I guess you have to open it. And you'll see the, the meat inside. There's the meat. Let's see how it tastes. What's Looks in like it? There's, it's like Kahlua pork. It there's makes pork stuff like and fish and some uh, vegetables in there let's see they're all the same color now mm. it's pretty good i like that especially the meat want some you tabasco need to, you need to put some hot sauce in there to make it work that's about it on my part that the see i think the the coloring is not that red it's not red <laughs> because the rice absorbed it i'm gonna try it just a little piece. Mm. Yeah, your dad is right. This is not the same as what we make in San Diego. Let's try the langonisa. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's good. I'm gonna try the pancet. Mm. Pancet tastes like pancet you make. Mm -hmm. Or the ones we buy from the store, like Seafood City. Try this adobo, because I've been smelling it. And this right here is the adobo with rice. Mm. For the price, this is good. This is better than the one scrambled eggs in the tocino. This is a winner. What does lao lao mean in Tagalog? It's hanging. <laughs> sagging? <What>? <laughs> it's sagging. No. It means sagging? It means hanging. It smells so good. This one. I was hoping that There's was an aroma the, to that. At the luau last night, but they didn't have it. Mmm. 
It's good, huh? It's like laing, that uh, Filipino dish. Laing. What is laing made of? It's like gabi and coconut milk and meat. But this is good, I like it. So, uh, yeah, subscribe to that occasion. I'm uh, starting my new channel. Well, I don't know when, but uh, with JJ's help. I ain't helping this guy. He'll, he'll do it by tomorrow. Your title should be Maddie's Vlog. Maddie's Vlog. They don't know I'll, you I'll, as Maddie. They don't know you as Maddie. But anyway, please subscribe. And uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this a 7 for uh, taste and for price. I give it an 8. Price is good. And if they had this in San Diego, would uh, you? how many times a week would you go or every times a month? Uh, maybe once or twice a month is good. But you see, you can cook it better. But with the price, I'd go there twice a month. Aloha. Peace Thank out. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you. We've never tried the jalapeno shomai here. They gave me some soy sauce. So let's get soused up. Here's a jalapeno shomai with some soy sauce in it. Mmm, that's what's up. That's a winner. Yes, please. That's two thumbs up on that. The jalapeno shawarma. I'm gonna give Dad Fish some of that. All right, I'm gonna try some of their pork pork casino. Got a block of that pork casino. Mmm. All right. Dad Cations pork casino back home. He makes it a lot tastier. It's a lot sweeter and. It's addicting. This, it's an all right. It works for 7-Eleven. This is the shrimp shomai. Let me eat one of these. We're gonna douse it with the soy sauce. Let's smack it. Mmm. Yeah, that shrimp is good too. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna leave the other two for the parents. And when you eat these manapuas, make sure you take the wrapper off in the bottom. And let's do a Breakaway. Ooh. There's that nice pork on the inside of this. You know I'm gonna souse it up with the hot sauce. Can't go a meal without that Tabasco. Oh man. Okay. It's not quite that Manapua that we get over at Chinatown with Felix in my Cheap Eats video. But if you're out about to go to North Shore and you just need some, a quick bite to eat and you're craving some of this, Manapua is amazing. And in the Philippines, they call this Shopao. And they actually sell Shopao in the Philippines 7-Eleven. Maybe one of these days when they go back to the Philippines, we'll do a 7-Eleven Philippines mukbang. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. All right, I'm gonna give Dad Kation the jalapeno shomai and see what he thinks. Hi again, Jay Kationers. I'm gonna try this jalapeno shomai JJ gave me. Uh, he already poured some soy sauce on it. Take a bite here. Mmm, texture is good, just like a real shumai. Mmm, tastes like shumai. It is shumai, but you can taste the jalapeno. It's not too hot, just right. So I give this one thumbs up. Jalapeno shumai. And what is this called? The pork manapua. The pork manapua, or pork shopao, Tagalog. Mmm, that one's good too. It's a little sweet, but the pork is good. The shrimp shumai of 7-Eleven. Uh, uh, Jay doused it with soy sauce. It looks good. It's good. It's savory. It's not that salty. Mm, it's not like the Chinese made. Like Din Tai Fung, the restaurant. But it's good. All right, JK Shinners, I'm gonna wait a little bit and try out this beef pho. Final day in Waikiki. Gotta get one run in at least to finish it off. I only took one day off this whole week here in Honolulu, so let's go. All right guys, we are here at Waikiki Beach. Across the way, that pink building is the Royal Hawaiian. This is the Waikiki Wall right here. And over this way is the Kaimana Beach Resorts area and another beach where they play some volleyball. It's been a great time here, getting a final run in before I have to check out. It was a goal of mine to try out 
the pho um, from 7-Eleven. <laughs> so right before we leave, here it is. Ooh, nice and warm. You got leaves in here. Is there beef? Oh yeah, there are. There is beef in here. The pho is okay. It's not like your awesome broth that you get at a Vietnamese restaurant, but this is, you know, gonna microwave this pho. So we're gonna put some aloha soy sauce on here. Mix it up a bit. Let's get some beef and some onion and a little bit of the noodle. Mmm, it's actually not bad. 7-Eleven pho? Who knew? Wow. It's nice and warm. You got chives in here. I wish they had a little more beef, but you're only paying about five bucks for this, so. Wow, 7-Eleven, who knew? All right, Jaycationers, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Jaycation, we're almost to 100,000. Yeah, if you wanna see me do more mukbangs with my parents, momcation and dadcation, let me know in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next one. And in the words of Jaycation, stay traveling, Hawaii. Let's go.